What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and it's been quite a while since I actually sat down and made a pretty substantial vlog. I know I've made a couple small ones here or there to say that I was going to an event or so, but anyways, I wanted to take some time to talk about a pretty big life decision that I've made recently. If you saw me on Facebook or Twitter, you would have seen this information probably I think maybe like a month back or so because I did announce it a little bit earlier but I know a lot of you guys definitely don't follow me on there and that's totally okay so anyways um, I guess I'll just start with how I'm doing I'm doing pretty good I mean I just finished finals and so I was attending UC Berkeley in the fall of 2014 studying computer science and so I finished my finals and now I'm back here at my parents house and I'm pretty settled in. I'm doing pretty well. You know, you can see some of my dad's stuff in the background. He, he likes to play guitar, so he's got a bunch of guitars and stuff. I've kind of taken over his office here. But anyways, let's just jump right into it and start talking about the major decision that I've made in my life. And to sum it up real quick, I'll explain it a little bit more in depth as we go on. But to sum it up, I have decided that... After this semester of fall, I will be taking an indefinite leave of absence from school and I will be doing my best to be what is essentially a full-time YouTuber. So from, I guess, Friday this coming week, I'm pretty much officially full-time from now on. And so the way I came about this decision was um, when I was in high school, for those of you who don't know, this was my first and only semester at UC Berkeley. So when I was in high school, I my YouTube channel started in high school, and it really started picking up when I was a senior in high school. And as it as the year progressed, I knew that coming out of high school, I had the decision to make of whether or not I wanted to just go straight to YouTubing full time or to perhaps attend university. And for a very long time, I was just leaning towards YouTubing full time until I received my acceptance letter from UC Berkeley. And if you've ever met me in real life, you'll know that I'm really like, I guess I have, I'll, I'll put it this way. I have a lot of pride to the point where it kind of negatively affects the decisions that I make in my life. And I'll do things that maybe weren't the best decisions just so I can be proud of the decision I made rather than taking what's actually best for me. And the like and so overall the prestige and just like the you know, the solid reputation that Berkeley has appealed to me so heavily that, you know, after talking to like teachers and friends at the time, of course, you know, I had friends going to community college and I would talk to them and say, hey, should I go to Berkeley or should I YouTube full time? And they say, dude, are you kidding me? Go to Berkeley. And I mean, at the time, I can definitely see their reasoning for that, that choice because going to Berkeley is a really safe option. Um, computer science is a very... I guess safe probably isn't the best word, but for lack of a better term, it's a safe option. And at least it's like more, you know, clear cut in that sense. And so coming out of high school, I ended up deciding to go to Berkeley for at least, you know, a year or so in theory, due to the fact that it, it the prestige appealed to me so greatly. And honestly, I'm really good at school. Like, when it comes to studying and doing homework and that kind of stuff, like, overall, I honestly have to say that I'm pretty good at that kind of stuff, mainly due to the fact that I'm really good at not procrastinating. But anyways, um, that is also kind of proven by the fact that my grades at Berkeley were, you know, pretty solid, definitely above average, to say the least. So I'm not making this decision because Berkeley was too hard. And, you know, it was really hard though, so I shouldn't downplay it. I was actually getting like 15 hours of sleep a week, you know, eating like one meal a day, something ridiculous. And it was it was such a bad lifestyle, such a bad environment. 
but honestly, I could probably handle it. Like it wasn't like I say it's really bad, but it was still doable. You know, I was really motivated. You know, I have a lot of energy and stuff. I eat pretty healthy too. So I, it's not like I was eating junk food all the time. I was eating one good solid meal a day, but of course it was still only one meal a day. You know, I've been going to the gym and stuff. So I live a pretty healthy lifestyle. So that kind of stuff is something that I can actually handle. And the difficulty of Berkeley, although it is probably, you know, extremely difficult, that's not the reason why I made this decision. But the thing is, is that like my time at Berkeley, like you kind of wake, it gets to a point where you wake up and you start thinking because this is like university, you have to start thinking about like the jobs and what you're going to do when you get out. Like when you're in high school, you don't really think about that stuff. Just, oh, you know, when I graduate high school, I'll just, I'll just go to university, you know, no big deal. Like don't really have to think about any other options or whatever. But when you're in university, you really have to start thinking like, am I going to apply to this company? You know, I got to start doing summer internships so I can get job experience. You got to start thinking about all these things for career choices and life choices so that you can be prepared for when you actually graduate. So you're not just stuck in the mud for like a year or so after the fact. And it kind of got to the point where I was waking up every single day, you know, I'd wake up and oh my God, I have to go to class again. It's, and I would just absolutely hate it. And it was it's not that it was too hard, it's just that it wasn't fulfilling, you know, it wasn't, you know, driving my goals to succeed and, you know, be successful as a person. And, you know, I can, like, I can handle it, you know, I can wake up every single day thinking, I don't really want to be here, and I can do that every day for four years and be fine. But the thing is that eventually happened is I started making this transition of I would wake up and think, I really don't want to be here, to waking up and thinking, do I really have to be here? And eventually, you have to consider the option. And so eventually, I started to, and it kind of just built up for a really long time, you know, like a month or two. You know, I don't know how much money I'm going to make. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I've never done this kind of thing. I'm just, you know, I'm just 18 years old. I'm just a kid, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. And eventually I went to Summoner's Con in LA. I flew over to LA and I met, uh, for the first time I was actually able to talk to some other YouTubers who had dropped out of college. You know, I talked to Jibay, I talked to Spazzy. Both of them were extremely insightful and helpful towards my decisions. And overall, they just gave me a lot of confidence. And after I talking to them, as well as some other YouTubers and streamers and stuff like that, I started to seriously consider the decision. So I called all of my friends. I called teachers. I called my parents. I called people who go to Berkeley who are succeeding in the route of taking, you know, four years of school. And... After I had every single person who I called, it was probably about 20 people who I called and talked to for, you know, a total of multiple hours. And every single person said, you know what, Jeremy, you got a good thing going for you. I think you should do it. And especially when you have my own, my dad told me, he said, Jeremy, if I was in your position, I would drop out of Berkeley and become a full time YouTuber. And my dad has a PhD, so hearing that from him was, like, insane. And it eventually, you know, I decided, you know what, I can do this. And one thing Spazzy told me was that it's really important that when you drop out or make this kind of big life changes, changing decision is that it's good to have some backup plans. And I realized that I do. You know, my parents support me. My friends support me. I got a pretty good life going on for me, you know. I'm not, you know, unhealthy or anything like that. And so I can always go back to school in case I have to because I technically haven't dropped out of Berkeley. I'm just on an indefinite withdrawal, even though for all realistic purposes, I pretty much have dropped out. And if everything goes according to plan, I would not plan on going back. If things go to worse, I could go back if I had to. And I have received um, some job offers from companies. I w received a pretty substantial offer from law class to go work for them, as well as I received some offers to coach challenger teams. I don't know why people would offer me to coach challenger teams. I don't think I would be a very good coach, but the, the point stands is that the offers were there and people were coming to me looking to hire me for jobs. And so anyways, I decided to make the full decision 
you know, my pride takes a hit, but at the end of the day, it's definitely worth it. I'm extremely happy being a YouTuber. It's really fun. And even though it is kind of a lot of work, and it's definitely a lot more work than people give it credit for, the actual work that you do isn't necessarily the most difficult thing ever. And it's extremely flexible in terms of time, even though I'll probably be working about 12 to 14 hours a day if everything goes according to plan. And, I mean, I can say every, if everything goes according to plan, but at the end of the day, that actually doesn't really mean anything. And so we'll just have to see how it turns out. I mean, actions speak louder than words, so I don't want to talk about it too much. But I do have, I did write up a pretty significant business plan. Um, I guess I could summarize it a little bit. It's really it consists of like one video a day, you know, three, four streams a week. Um, I'll definitely be actually doing Hearthstone videos again, so I'll probably be doing one to two Hearthstone videos a week starting mid-January or so. Um, I actually play a lot of Hearthstone. I actually play more Hearthstone than League sometimes, now that I think about it. Some months. Anyways, the game's really fun, and I'm actually really good at Hearthstone. I considered the game to be really, really easy because I transitioned from other trading card games that were much, much more complex. So I think Hearthstone's a pretty easy game as far as my experience goes, and I know it's definitely not that many people see it that way too, so I definitely have a ton of content. I have like a list of video ideas, and it's like something like, I don't know, like five pages long. You know, it's probably got over a hundred ideas on it, and I think of more every day. Like, it's not really a big ideal for, I don't really run out of ideas, and since I'll be working full time, the quality should definitely stay there, and so that's really kind of my general plan. And I'm pretty excited for the future, you know, things are looking good for me, you know, I got a good thing going on here with my parents, you know, they're going to let me stay here for a while, I'll probably move to an apartment in either San Jose or I was thinking about moving to LA with some other YouTubers. I don't have my living situation planned out too much, and in fact, I'll probably end up staying with my parents for longer than I would hope to because of that. But at the end of the day, you know, my parents are actually really, really nice to me. And so I'm really grateful for that. And they really support me. And that's probably the biggest thing that's helped me make this transition in my life. And so for you guys, that really just means, you know, more videos, better quality content, and just positives all around. Other than the fact that I won't really talk about my time at Berkeley anymore, as if that mattered. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for the future. It's going to be it's going to be a lot. It's going to be good fun. And I'm really excited. And that's really it, to be honest. I guess I'm officially a full-time YouTuber. Starting, I don't know, maybe today, but officially starting Friday. And is there anything else I had left? Oh, yeah. I do intend to be doing a Razor giveaway on Twitter. Because I got a reasonable amount of people who follow me on Facebook, but not many people follow me on Twitter. So I will... 100%, you can quote me on this, be doing a Razor giveaway in the month of January on Twitter. So definitely check me out at Gaming Curios, Facebook.com slash Gaming Curios. Thanks for the support, and above all else, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.